Good morning. It's the first full day of the Obama presidency. Yesterday was inauguration day, and my friend Deb and I went to. Yes, I'm just trying to get out of my driveway. Um, an inauguration brunch. We had both kind of worked on the campaign. She did more than I did. And neither of us made it to Grand Park, and we couldn't get to Washington. So, um, this event was being held a mile away from where we work. I'm going, Deb, we should go to this. It's a brunch a mile away, from, and we could take a half day off and go and participate. So we went, and it was so nice. We had a wonderful time. And they had big screen TVs in every room of this restaurant. It's, it's really a clubhouse uh, convention center type thing. So they had a brunch and then they had these big screen TVs. And <laughs> the feeling in that room was so warm and collegial. And it might have come close to the feeling some people describe having on the mall. And when our friend Jeanette gets back from being on the mall, we'll get her take on it, but we had a wonderful time. So we did get a chance to participate in the inauguration and see the whole thing, basically. And that was a very strong moment. Very, um, Um, when, when he was sworn in, I, I found myself dabbing my eyes because I was crying, you know. And I got the whole, his whole speech on, on tape, on stick, basically. Just for my own use, just so I can go back and look at it. I won't post it, but uh, it's on CNN, you can get it there. You can get it almost anywhere, I imagine. It's on YouTube, it's everywhere. I think the speech was really good. I think he balanced the hard work ahead, which I think some people don't realize how hard the work is going to be. But uh, later on in the day, I, I was checking on CNN on my Blackberry, and um, the WhiteHouse.gov site is now updated for his administration. And things, it's funny, things were posted at 12.01 yesterday. So they, they rolled the website almost exactly at 12.01 to be his administration's website. And there are a lot of interesting links there, including links about White House internships and White House fellowships. And if you're a young person, you might want to look at those links because there's some opportunities to learn the ins and outs, the, the deep ins and outs of your government, if you want to, on that site. Whitehouse.gov. <sighs> the transparency. There, there's a place where there will be a blog. There's a, going to be, you know, slideshow, photos. So I recommend highly that you go to Whitehouse.gov and take a look. The transparency that he fosters, he fostered in his campaign website, is carried over into the WhiteHouse.gov site now. And all his positions on all the issues are there. So read them. Also, change.gov, I, um, I don't know if they're going to continue that site or not. There's also change.org. A highlight of this administration, which wasn't emphasized by the last administration very much, I think, I think Bush tried, but I don't think anyone took him up on it, or very few took him up on it, but I can do The volunteering is going to be highly emphasized for people of any walk of life. 
um, they're going to emphasize community service for about everybody. And it's not a punishment. It's to get people truly involved in the business of running the country. When he says it's not about him, it's about us, he does mean it. And it's also about us doing a lot of work that I think a lot of people don't realize how hard the work is. That's all I'm trying to say, I guess. But I thought the inauguration was amazing to see a, a, that, that whole sea of people on the mall. I wish they would stop talking about fashion. Oh my God, the news people are just... Of course she dressed well. Of course, being Michelle, she didn't spend millions of dollars on clothes. It's Michelle. Get used to it. She's... She looked great. He looked great. The shot they had of him of walking down the hallway alone, that determined look on his face of, this is what I have, this is what I am going to be trying to do. This is huge. I, I mean, it wasn't, it was just this look of determination and sheer will, and I'm sure he was nervous. But, it's the first full day of the uh, Barack presidency, and there was a sense of relief. And I know that when they showed uh, George and Laura going off in the helicopter, a, a bunch of us at the brunch waved goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Uh, <laughs> so. Now we can see how to involve ourselves, all of us, involve ourselves in the work of the country. People in the armed forces have been doing it for years. People in politics have been doing it for years. But this is everyone being involved in the work of running a country. Everyone. Transparency. Let's see how that transparency thing goes because there's always secrets. But let's see how transparent a government can be in this country. We'll see. Uh, some of his advisors and Staff, I may not dis I may not agree with all of them on their views, um, Rob Emanuel is kind of a pit bull, but to be a White House Chief of Staff, I think that is required for the job. I think it's required for the job. <laughs> so. Uh, 